what's on my phone? What's on my Xiaomi? Who knows? Well, I will show you today. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys what is on my Xiaomi. I want to share with you guys what's on my phone so you can see also what kind of apps are really important if you are going to China or if you are already in China and you might have missed out on some of them. Who knows? So get ready to see what's on my phone and write it down so you can put it on your phone as well. You're welcome. Okay, so let's get into this video. As you can see, I have a lot of apps here on my phone. I'm gonna try to go through the most important ones and if you have questions about any of the other ones, just let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. Number one is music. First, I like to use this one, QQ Music. I use that one to listen to all the new popular songs from America. I also use the Wang Yunyue. I know that name is crazy. So you can see this one. I listen to only Chinese songs. I don't really know why. I just separated them. So I have like the English ones on one app and the Chinese ones on the other. Then, if you like karaoke, just like me, I also have this one. It's kind of fun. Chamin. Yeah, I I use it sometimes if I'm a little bored. Then I have Spotify. Spotify is surprise not blocked yet in China, which is amazing. So I use that one to listen to some instrumental music and also to listen to some really cool podcasts. Then we have the DR radio. If you don't know what that is, I totally get it. It stands for Danish radio. So I use this one to listen to the Danish radio. Anyways, we're moving on to the money part. Okay. First up here, I'm not gonna go into these, but the first one is my Danish bank. Second one is Google Play. I just put those together. The third one here is Jifubao, the also called Alipay. You need that in China. Very, very important. So Alipay is here on my phone. Then we have my Chinese bank account is the blue one here in the middle. And then I have this like budget manager. So I write down every day what I spend and how much I earn to make sure that I don't overspend because last year was a bit of an expensive year. This year I have to save a little bit more. That my down here is the one where you can buy tickets for different shows if you want to go in like if you want to go to a concert or if you want to go to some other kind of performance show then you can search here and buy them online. PayPal, you know PayPal of course, don't want to get into that. And then the last one is for currency. I was just looking for some app where I could check the currencies because I work a lot between like dollars and Danish uh, money and the Chinese money. Next up is social, how to find some new friends. The first one is meetup. Kat and I have been talking about the meetup app here before. You can find, you know, all activities around you and go out and meet some new friends. Couchsurfing, you guys probably know, and then there is the Chinese version as well. Looks totally similar, I'm not gonna go into that. And then down below here is Airbnb, it just has a Chinese name because my phone is in Chinese. Then there is Show Around, that app is if you want to be a local guide, then you can sign up there. Then I have Booking.com of course because I love that website, oh my god. I think like I am their best user, you know, because I literally book from Booking.com all the time. It's just because if I want to cancel, there is no fee, which is amazing. Moving on, we have Excel, Microsoft Word and the Dictionary for Danish English and PowerPoint. Then here we have WeChat, Messenger, Facebook, WhatsApp, Skype, Twitter, Chinese. This phone is a Xiaomi, so there is a Xiaomi Liao Char like discuss or, like talking app. And then the last one is called Yijibuo, that's a Chinese live streaming app. Then we have for social media, layout for Instagram where we could do nice collages, collage. The Chinese one here, it's just an amazing app, Meitu Xiu Xiu. I actually use that one all the time, so in this one I just like fix my pictures. Moving on to the next one, Baidu Di Tu, 
very very important guys wherever you want to go in Beijing or in China you can use this one moving on we have the Didi Chuxing so that one is very important because it's the Chinese Uber if you need an Uber ride in China then you'll have to use the DD one. Anyways, I also have Google Maps. I don't use it here, but then I go abroad somewhere and then I need it, so I can't be bothered to delete it anymore. It's too much, map, <laughs> too much trouble. The next one is Mobike. So if I want to find a public bike near me, then I can just check out the app here and it will show me where the nearest bike is. As an example, there is a bike just outside my dorm, so that's pretty nice. I can go out and book it immediately. Then we have the D tier, the subway, subway map. Then I have Pleco here for my, my Chinese dictionary. It's just so important. Pleco is the best dictionary out there. And then learn Chinese. Nice one to listen to some Chinese podcasts. And then the last one here is a really cool one. It's called the Chairman's Bao. So Bao means newspaper, right? So this one, I haven't signed up yet, but I'm definitely gonna do it. It's very interesting. So they translate all the news going on in China and then there are different levels. So if you're HSK1, you can see it out here on the side, HSK5, HSK, HSK2. HSK is the Chinese language proficiency test. If you go, when you go into the article, you can click on one word and it'll show you what it means. It's very nice. I'm definitely gonna start using it at some point. Just too busy right now. Moving on to a video. First Next up is Tudou Shipin. That one, I don't use it super much. It's just if the one I use doesn't have the video or the show I want to watch, then I'll go into some of the other ones as well and see if any of they, them have it. Wow, okay. There's a lot going on here. Then the next one here is Yoku. It's the same one. Also a lot of different TV shows and smaller and larger videos you can watch. The one I like the most is this one, Sugo, because the Sugo app has Friends. <laughs> I like to watch Friends on repeat. So they have all the 10 seasons, so I like to watch it on this one. I also watch Ellen DeGeneres or James Corden show and the same one with IT as well. IT is actually my favorite. That one has all the ones I want to watch. I also watch a lot of Chinese, but Chinese? Chinese but recently I've been a little lazy because I can't be bothered like when I'm tired I just want to watch something that's fun and usually I don't really understand the humor Chinese TV is a little over the top most of the time so if I have a headache I'm just like mm, not really feel feel like it you know and I have the Danish radio TV as well of course moving on to the next one this one is a very important one so the first one here is called Da Zhong Dian Ping so this one is where you can find a lot of discounts for everywhere you go. Different discounts on like food and hotels and sightseeing. The next one is the same. Mei Tuan is the same concept. I was looking, last time I was looking for some sushi, so I was seeing if there were any sushi restaurants around with a nice discount, so I was looking through this app to see. You can literally find everything here. I've also done a lot of like discount massages through here. Then we have number three here, it's called Ulama. Are you hungry? This one is for Wai Mai for like they bring the food out to you, right? So I can order food from this app and then they're gonna come with the food to my door. Next one, that important Alibaba is just uh, where you can find different factories if you want to work with Chinese factories. This is a new app that my friend recommended because I was looking for a place to stay. So I've been looking at this app to find rooms and apartments around my place here or where I want to live. And the last one in the, this category is Wubat. That's like an old app. It has been around for a really long time. On this app, you can basically also do everything. If you're looking for a waiter, if you're looking for an IU to come and clean your house, if you're looking for secondhand stuff or an apartment, a car, if you're looking for whatever you're looking for you can use this app to find it <laughs> then i have express vpn of course that is like the most important app i have on my phone literally i can choose all these locations to make sure that i can always get out of china online so i'm able to always upload videos for you guys i'm i'm always you know able to go onto facebook and talk to everyone abroad that is 
oh yeah it's just the most important app expressvpn if you're looking for a very reliable vpn then check out the link below in the description box expressvpn the best vpn on the market then here of course we have youtube instagram snapchat tumblr skype and bilibili which is the chinese version of youtube i guess and tapas i don't know i played a little bit with it but it's not really my thing the chinese fitness app is called keep and then we have youtube studio wordpress camera controller trello is a very nice like organizing app because my life is so messy <laughs> and the last one here can do screen shot recording then i have my qq of course my qq email and then i have patreon so i can get in touch with my amazing patreon supporters thanks again for all of your support guys that was all for this little video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you already wrote down all the apps that you are missing on your phone thank you very much for watching please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from Linking below. Also, remember that I have my social media laying around Instagram, laying around Facebook, laying around, and Patreon. You could check out if you feel like it. So, I'll see you again very, very soon. Linking is out. See ya and 再见. Bye bye.